Jealousy is not a good si color. Jealousy ni mesema mm. tu ni hivyo vile nimesema. Si hey, kuna jealousy hapo. Aya, hashtag is morning tu, fix. Kama anaweza nipenda hii asubuhi. People are so jealous in the studio. <laughs> it's They, not jealous. What is it? It's admiration. Oh, okay. Like heri nyinyi mm. inataka kuwa kama nyinyi. Okay. Si ati mtaachana. No, I don't like people who say mtaachana. <laughs> ni what kind of people are you? And of course you're chilling with me most bankable host Brian and Sally. I hope you're having a great great morning. Hey, my name is Mariam Bashar. It's a Wednesday thing. We're all about appreciating women in our lives today. Of course giving flowers where they are needed, which is everywhere basically. And uh, wrapping up the news review, unfortunately with a rather sad story. If you're familiar, even if we may be too young to know of a band called The Mushrooms, you definitely know Jumbo Jumbo Bwana. Yeah, that one you can't miss. But unfortunately, their lead singer, Ted Kalanda Harrison, uh, died at the age of 72, succumbing to a long battle with cancer. Mm-hmm. He, of course, um, was in his rural home in Kaloleni in Kilifi County. And his brother, who is also a band member, John Katana, said that it's been a long and painful journey for our eldest brother. Mm-hmm. He was a source of inspiration to all of us in music. And of course, as we celebrate the rhythms of the mushrooms, they're one of the best uh, contemporary uh, reggae, chakacha, and benga artists. They formed Ali in the 70s. That is 1970s. The group gained uh, fame with their hit song Jumbo Buana, which was actually written and penned by the late uh, Ted Kalanda Harrison. And of course, uh, we just would like to celebrate his life, even in death. We know that he was such a major contributor in the industry. And of course, the band's success went on for many years. They just reunited the other day. True. Mario got a chance to interview them. Very true. Uh, I had a chance to also uh, just be uh, with one of the, uh, the promoters that is Bonnie uh, who was just trying to make sure that people get to understand that this uh, kind of Swahili lyrics and heritage yes. would actually uh, be propelled even in the new age uh, music uh, also one of the mushroom members who appeared in Nairobi he's the taxi driver uh, you know drive and a drop Akina Benso Uh, in that hotel. So I if you watch that. Nairobi, yeah. uh, in Yikonan, very Saudi soul, and of course, Ben Soul, you definitely mm-hmm. see one of, uh, the band one of the band members. Yeah, no, I was very honored to interview them for their 50 year anniversary mm-hmm. in 2022. They were formed in 1972. So for them to have been still making music and doing the occasional performance and tour here 50 years mm-hmm. later is really, really something to look out for. Of course, you can, you know, go listen to Jumbo Bwana just to feel a little bit nostalgic, but we do send um, our love to the friends and family of Ted Kalanda Harris. And, and of course people underestimate the power of songs. Mm-hmm. You know the word jumbo is so tourist? Yes it is. Jumbo jumbo. Yeah like jumbo but <laughs> it's been used in movies in yes. Disney. Uh but as soon as you learn from Kenya people just like jumbo buana. Mm. Yeah and then it was used uh, that phrase was actually used it was really popular in the 90s on promoting uh things like Kenya Airways. Yes. And it just made Kenya feel like home. So you tell someone jumbo buana And they're very happy. And yeah, we just would like to say rest in peace. We wouldn't like to remember a musician in pain. We'd like to also remember that they were one of the greatest, con- uh, he was one of the greatest contributors. That is Ted, uh, one of the greatest contributors to Kenyan music.